Okay. All right, so, so what part of Canada are you from? <laughs> I am from uh, Vancouver. Vancouver. West Coast. What? <laughs> so, okay, what are you working on right now? Like, what kind of, like, uh, are you working on music since now you're doing the artist thing, you're doing acting, or, like, what are you doing? A little bit of everything. It's it's actually really intense, but somehow I have the energy for all of it because I just really love all of it. That's tight. Yeah. What do you love more, acting, DJing, or producing? I mean, DJing's got to be number one. Like, I was born to be on stage. <laughs> oh, see, superstar. <laughs> see, I, that's the other high five. Yes. I know what's up. Yes. <laughs> Love that movie. <laughs> so, did you just start, like, producing? Or have you been, like, because I, I know you're always, like, posting up uh, stuff with, like, Ableton and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but now are you doing, like, more originals or, like, bootlegs remit, like or everything or like what are you like really working on right now yeah a little bit of everything like I it's been mostly original um, focused but then of course um, once I developed all those skills and everything in Ableton uh -huh. I was like man it's taking a while to like well I have a lot of tracks finalized but now I'm doing like I do the record label shop and that that whole thing which can be mm -hmm. time consuming and I'm like well meanwhile I've been like teasing everyone like yeah in the studio and they're like cool like where is the fucking music yeah you know like <laughs> So I was like, okay, well, in the meantime, I gotta release something, you know, that's like quick and easy and uh -huh. doesn't require like label shopping and all this rigmarole. So, um, yeah, I just um, started make, like trying out doing you know, remixes, bootlegs, edits, whatever, and and um, yeah. So I've been putting those up on BPM Supreme. Oh, dope. And my SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and they're doing well, and it's and I love them because it's stuff that I want to play. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I can't imagine trying to make something that's not my jam you know, yeah like you just gotta feel it and it, when was that time you're like hey you know what I, I can make a career out of this like when did that hit you know what it's so funny because i have got that question before and i unfortunately i can't provide like there wasn't like a one moment because this whole thing has been like this organic climb i swear even from when oh, i was crazy. a little kid because um like what i when did you start or well, like the music thing right well um i mean I had a little record player even like as a little kid. Oh, I, had per I had freaking purple people eater on vinyl, like straight up. Yeah, <laughs> like, like straight up. Like it's my opening track. Actually. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Super. <laughs> okay. So as a so as a kid. Okay, and then. Um, it just it happened organically. Like like I just followed the technology. So I collected music on cassette tape. Mm -hmm. And I made my own, uh, like, cassette tape mixes. Like, you know when you had, like, the, the two cassette tapes? Yep. And, and um, you know, and so you'd be, like, record, play, and, like, recording, you know, so you get a mm -hmm. blank tape and, like, whatever. And I didn't know I was DJing. I was just, like, I want to hear these songs in this yeah. order. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and you put Rihanna mixtape number one. Yeah. <laughs> so you came from vinyl, which... I appreciate it. That's fucking awesome. The thing is, there's, I, without, I feel like, what is a live show without risk? Like, that's the thing. Like, I've never, ever used a sink. And, here, and it, mm -hmm. I just, and it's not like, ooh, it's not for any weird reason. Like, I don't, well, one, I don't trust technology that much. Like, yep. are you kidding me? You're going to beat match for me after been beat matching for, like, and everything. Yeah, like, forever. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and, like, that's the point of being live is mm -hmm. to be doing it live there's that risk like there's that like yeah you might fuck up a mix <laughs> like someone comes up and like you know right? like, touches oh you, you dropped a beer like, on my shit and the music fucking yeah. stopped which has happened yeah, <laughs> yeah I, had a, I had a cdj stop like just like full on like the power loss to the cdj oh, and it was shit. my opening song in a huge it was like this huge festival in mexico in front of like thousands of people oh, and it was like you know you're like oh, like get them all like five on the mic and like you know, you drop the first track, and it's like, whoa, put your fucking hands up, and it's like, whoa, the track's going booming, bam, silence. And I was just like, thank God, I'm, see, this is why I was born to be on stage, because I, I can, like, improvise like a motherfucker. I okay. would, like, grab the mic, and I'm like, and this is in Spanish, by the way, oh, shit. so I'm translating you for, for you right now, but I had to, like... So say it in Spanish, and then say it in English. I was like, let's go down, like, quieren hacerlo de nuevo? Like I was like, like you guys love it. Like, do you want to do? Like, let's do that again. You yeah. know what I mean? And they're like, yeah. You know, you say fucking anything. Like, yeah, proud for of sure. Like, you just yell and you go ah, and they go ah. That was my set. Good night, guys. Ah. 
yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, so I had to like, like as I was talking to them on the mic, like the CD tape that was still working, uh-huh. I was get like that same track, I'd like load it and I was like, you know, yeah, do it, like, that was mm-hmm. so much fun, let's do it again kind of thing, like total bullshit. But like, yeah, like, <laughs> you know. Are you pissing your pants like as you're saying, yeah, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. Like, <laughs> man, I think that happens to freaking everybody. Like, I panic, but you have a smile, like, yeah, it's all good, I'm professional. But when you get off stage, you're like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. <laughs> you're like, really? Are you fucking kidding me? The first song? Really? Yeah. I don't know. I felt like that once when I, was, See? when I was playing vinyl and I lifted, like, the wrong needle. Oh, like, shit. I lifted the needle off the one that was playing, not the one that just finished playing. Yeah. And I literally, like, I dropped the needle back down and I, like, <laughs> I just went down. I just crouched down. <laughs> Do you have any like mixtapes coming out, or mixes, or anything you're uh, you're doing as like a full project for uh, you know Mixcloud or whatnot? I mean, I mean this mix, I'm I'm you know I'm excited about, and um, it's I'm gonna perhaps make it a um, like okay, so I'm doing a curated set for BPM Supreme. What is that? What does that mean? So set? it's so badass. Like so on their site, um, they have. Um, curated sets, which is basically like saves you the the time of like s- like combing through the whole site for good stuff because they've gotten like like DJs to go through and be like, hey, like if you were to put a mix together, mm-hmm. like using tracks on BPM Supreme, what would you choose? Oh. Yeah, so I have like a twenty track, so you know like like mix. So technically, a DJ could like log you know log in whatever. Mm-hmm. And be like, oh, let's check out Rihanna and Rose's like curated set, and they could okay. they could download all twenty of those songs, like uh, bam, 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 and play them in that freaking order, and be like, like good. straight for that, oh. like for that that show that night that they yes. you know that they have an attendance plan for or something. So I know it's a bit like lazy DJ, but <laughs> hey, but it's, <laughs> it's your set. You're like, yeah, that was my set. Yeah, yeah. You know? and you're like, did you play my set good or not? You know, that's actually really cool. Like, um, damn, that's. That's actually dope. That's like, uh, are you gonna do? You, do you like edit any of those tracks? You just are you gonna edit stuff or do some like special things to them to make them like kind of, hey, this is my shit and you know, make it like I don't know. I guess uh, you're like white label records where it's like, yo, it's your stuff. Is that what you're gonna do? Or you basically you just go through the site and just make a whole kind of like playlist and like this is how I would play the songs. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like, so okay. I, I would pick stuff from the site that I like. Cause, okay. I mean, it'd be slightly biased to be like, oh, 20 random rose tracks in a row. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, I would do it. Ever. Come on. You know, it's your <laughs> set. Like, if I'm going to download your set, I want to know what you're going to play. So yeah. if you're not going to play those songs, you know, I want the, you yeah. know. Um, I'll, I'll put like at least, I'll put like one of my originals and one, like at least one, like, you know, remix. You have to do that. Done. You have to do that. Being on stage is like, it's incredible. It's mm-hmm. definitely like, you know, my number one and, I get nervous before every show. Yeah. I think that's really healthy because, um, you know, you can, it's like you become an alchemist and you can take all that nervous energy and you can, like, you know, turn it into, you know, enthusiasm and energy and expression and yeah. just be like, oh, you know, and like unleash it. And yep. it's, it's, it's like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. And then you like go Super Saiyan. Like, I, super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, but producing, I, it's like just very different. I feel like I'm on stage, I'm in front of all these people, and I'm performing and expressing, and it's, wah, you know, and then what a pretty thing is just, like, I'm in a room by myself, yeah. just, like, you know, hours and hours staring at the screen. You're just, you're just <laughs> stuck, and you're like, where's the outside world? Do you feel that much better when you play your own song, like, your own body of work, and people go, oh, my God! Like, does that make you, is that what kind of... That's what kind of drives a lot of producers to keep on producing, because yeah. it's like, it's a whole different feeling, you know, and that's yeah. where, did you get that kind of like feeling when you do, you know, your edits, and then you get that reaction from people and stuff? Yeah, definitely, and yeah, it was weird to like, actually cross that threshold into like, trusting my own work, because I'm constantly trusting everyone else's work, and yep. like, playing stuff that I love, and whatever, but then, you know, because I'm doing my own mixing and mastering, too. And oh, I'm wow. always second guessing that because yeah. I'm like, I'm no like crazy audio engineer. Yep. Like, I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> you like, know? I hope this works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dope. And, but I am de- very detail oriented, so that, mm-hmm. that that's great for mixing. But like, there was one time I was like, okay, cool, the song's finished. I went to the studio just to like, like, I don't know, like bounce it down and then start mm-hmm. working on something else. I ended yeah. up being there for 15 hours straight mixing this fucking track. 
Okay, why? Okay, what made you <laughs> stay there? I thought I was done. What? Ha- okay, so what happened? Did you just start like, oh shit, this is off, and you just started being tedious with it? Yeah, I mean, probably. Okay. Just like, but but what was cool is like, I was I thought that I was gonna get someone else to mix and master my stuff, uh-huh. and um and I you know I brought my mentor into here you know here track, and I'm like, mm. hey, I think this is done. Just wanted to like you know check. It. I'm like, cool, I'm gonna get mix and master now. And he's like, what by who? And I'm like, well, like by a professional. And he's like, gee what's a professional, you know, and I'm like, I don't know, like, someone that does that full time, and Mm -hmm. he's like, he's like, do it, you know, like, give it a shot kind of thing, right, Yeah. and it was so weird, because just having someone, like, him give me that confidence, and Mm -hmm. do it yourself, it's like taking off, like, the producer hat, like, you know, the creative hat almost, and then putting on, like, the the mixing hat essentially yeah. and just and so your like, lab okay. coat basically yeah <laughs> so it's like no more adjustments to the actual song and the patterns and the sounds and everything mm-hmm. but like now just like balancing everything and like frequencies you know, and yeah what's the name of the school you go to and like is it the what this uh, production class or is it like engineering or what is that it's um it's called matrix session so it's matrix sessions la on like whatever instagram and like, uh-huh. the website and um, Brian Matrix is my mentor um, oh, for dope. music production. Yeah, and um, basically it's one on it's one on one mentoring. So so that's oh. the wherever the hell you're at. Yeah. And whatever the hell you like to make, they mm-hmm. will meet you where you're at and take you to the next level. Like, oh, that's dope. So like yeah. kind of like a it's like an after school tutor thing. Like you just sit sure. with the person. Like you just like what we're doing right now. We're chilling and you're like, all right, cool. You know this and this and teach you stuff. Then. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. dope. And it's so great because I feel like with the classroom setting. You know, you're less likely to ask questions because you're like, well, I don't, one, you know, I don't want this to be, like, not like a dumb I question. Care. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I don't care about sounding like stupid because if I'm like, I want to learn, I, you yeah. know, I want to ask that question. But I'm also like have awareness about other people's time and energy, and mm-hmm. I'm like, if they already know this, this is a waste of their time. Yeah, you know, and that sucks. So, so one on one, it's like you can just ask anything, anytime. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I've learned really quickly. What do you think makes a good DJ nowadays? Well, I think judging something as good or bad is like, t- it's just judgment, so it's personal. You but know what, I mean? what does a DJ have to do that you're like, oh my god, that was dope? I feel like, for me, I feel like it's their presence. And I don't, I mean, I don't know if that's um, because that's, you know, I'm not just vibing with the music. It's like, mm-hmm. for me, it's a big part about the delivery. And I'm completely biased because my show, uh-huh. like when I DJ, it's all about delivery like yeah. of course the music is important that's mm-hmm. like come on of course it is that's, yeah that's like a foundation but i'm giving you so much more on top of that like mm-hmm. yeah like my presence my delivery my track selection i never plan my sets everything is live on the fly yep. you know what i mean and the connection with like the crowd in the, that moment because like that's what's so great is because like if you're reading them and like you know like connecting with like where they're at yeah and you're like oh i'm gonna play this next you know yeah, what I mean? it's like i'm gonna play with you right now i'm gonna play this track and they're like oh yeah it worked like it's i i totally actually that was a really good answer i was like <laughs> expecting you're like you know what you need vinyl records for them together and you know, <laughs> no sync button I, no but actually that makes a lot of sense now with you producing who do you want to collaborate with well, I've been, um, I'm like super into the night bass sound, like night mm-hmm. bass records and those guys. And um, I've been a fan for so long. Like I, I put out a mix, I mean, maybe almost 10 years ago, there was like, there's, what, there's a mix called Big Saucy Bangers. <laughs> oh, okay. So Big Saucy? <laughs> big, it was Big Saucy Bangers. And I swear, this is a legitimate Heinz product. Like Heinz, like. Oh, really? Food. Yeah, it's a canned, um, like uh, food item that they sell in England. And so I bought it because I was like, big saucy bangers? This is fucking awesome. Because in, you know, in England, it bang, you know. Uh, what is it? Is it uh, sausages? Yeah, oh, it's sausages. sausages. It's called bangers. <laughs> it's like bangers and mash, like sausages and potatoes. I like it. And, you know, I, that's, uh, and this actually totally ties in because I was, um, I'd always travel to England to visit family. That's where my parents are from and all their relatives. Nice. And that's where I got influenced by dance music. Not that I was oh, old wow. enough to like go to the club but mm-hmm. I they had this massive like HMV and like Virgin Record store and I'd go there and like buy all these CDs and, yeah like, you know dance music while I was there oh shit so yeah so um so this mix that I put out Big Sassy Bang like 10 years ago <laughs> it, it, every it was, time you say it you like your <laughs> eyes light up it's like hey <laughs> so like the point is 10 years ago I was a fan of Big's House uh-huh. you know because that's essentially what it was you know I mean it's house but it had this sort of like just slight like you know 
more grimy element, more bass kind of, and mm-hmm. like a little more underground. And um, and so uh, and these guys like yeah like you know, Sinden and AC Slater and like mm-hmm. and Chris Lorenzo and all, all oh, these crazy. guys yeah. like they've been you know they're doing their thing now and it's so exciting to see like mm-hmm. the you know AC Slater played uh, Coachella and stuff so it's like so rad to see that there's this platform for this music now. Yeah. So in a way, I feel like I'm coming full circle. And um, like starting to go a little bit more underground in my sound just because mm-hmm. I can now because I'm I'm producing and I can't help I can't I can't produce anything I'm not drawn to that yeah. would be like torture sitting yep. in the studio You're trying like... to create something you don't like but, <laughs> yeah anything any anyone on night base would be you know it'd be killer to to collab with that would be dope yeah. we gotta we gotta get one of those for you and like do a crazy ass banger yeah. a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting it. saucy sausage bangers. Big saucy bangers. <laughs> big saucy bangers. There we go. We're gonna, we're gonna do a whole like DJ crew of big saucy bangers. <laughs>